We outside today. Alright, so today is, guess what, today is how to increase your 40, which y'all been wanting to know. You want to increase your 40 yard dash, matter of fact, there are a couple bodybuilders that think they're the fastest bodybuilders out there and uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody touch me? Just letting you know. Shout out to Kali Muslin, and Brad Castleberry. Y'all want me to come out there to Cali and prove myself? We can all three race at the same time. Fastest bodybuilder. We can find that out ASAP. Broke running back records for reasons, homie. tell you today the most important thing of a 40 yard dash which is the start I'm going to teach you two ways to do a start and you pick whichever one you feel is more beneficial for you um, I'm going to start off with the one I like the most which is let's go all right so I'm trying to find an imaginary line not, not necessarily so imaginary but Line. You have something what's called, you take the line. You're allowed to take the line doing a 40 yard dash. I'm gonna blow up that plane if it doesn't shut up. Helicopter. So, there is a relaxed head. Shout out to Otto Bolin uh, for learning this from him. This is this is his version. The relaxed head, where you know, how he teaches sprinting and, and you wanna be relaxed. I'm on the other hand, that doesn't work for me because I'm so stiff and my back, my back muscles, my neck, you know, and um, that actually, you want to keep your head down, but that actually makes me pop my head up more because of the power that I create on my start. I have a very powerful start, so it's, when I take that first one, I feel a big stretch going down my spine, which creates me to bring my head up. So instead, what I do, Taking the line, boom, right here. You want to take the line right here with your feet. Make an L, boom. This is the foot you come off of. This is your power leg, all right? And then, it's right here, make another L. That's how wide, the feet, that's how wide your feet are going to be from the start, all right? Now I have my space. Here's the line right here, taking the line. So, what I do is find an exact spot I want my first step to be. So, sometimes I kind of start, look down, and then just let my eyes just find a spot, and boom. So I'm gonna put this right where I want my first step. This is gonna be my first step. That's how far I'm gonna be. This first step, will make a drastic change in your 40 start time. You don't want to have a step right here because you're not getting any ground. You want that explosiveness to take you all the way out here. You take a step right here, you're, you're, you're doing nothing for yourself. But you don't want to force yourself to get out there. It has to be a natural. So watch, watch as I take off. chains when we run. Now, pay attention to my head this time. The second one is the rested one, where you just want to try to keep your head down, and you're not even going to think about anything else but a straight line, and keeping your head down. You want to stay in the drive phase. Both of them you want to stay in the drive phase, but for some, keeping the head down helps them stay in that drive phase. The longer you can drive, the more power you're propelling before you come up to an actual you know, straight up sprint. Uh, we'll only make this about 10 yards. 
and do this, I say about, about, you know, I say about 10, 10 sets of 10 yards to get this down. stand down keeping that drive uh, try it out try both see what fits you more um, once again definitely work on your start your start is what will definitely help with that time yeah, you can get faster people can be fast and still have crappy starts and wonder why their time is crap when they know they're fast you know so definitely work on that um, but also I'm just about to show you some things that will help you increase that start strength. So let's do that now. The initial muscles used in the start, you know, the legs, of course, the hips. But if you think about it, it's the quads. The quads is that throws you forward, is that, 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 um, that major muscle from the start. So what I like to do is work single legs, like always, always pretty single legs. And we're gonna do about just about three of them. Trying to get out. I shouldn't be doing these in pits. I should grab my shoes. I don't feel like changing shoes right now. If I hurt myself, then I'm gonna be. So right here, come up. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help create that triple extension. And with that being said, the second exercise along with that will be right here, be along the wall, just like this. This is the driving phase, the start of your strength. And what's called triple extension, this is triple extension. This leg right here is straight, this glute is fired, and you're bringing this up, right? So boom, and you're gonna switch. You're gonna take, take a tempo. You're gonna switch, boom. Switch, boom. Switch, boom. You can take it a little bit slower. Start right here, press it in the ground hard, squeeze the glutes. Bring this one up, you do a march. Boom. Two. So if you're a beginner, start with the march. And switch. Boom. 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 And then after that one, you got more advanced. You go one, two, three. And what that's gonna do is gonna help with your hip strength. Maybe make you be able to bring those up. The more you can bring your knee up, the more ground you can cover. Here, boom, swipe back. So, take these into uh, into the mind, give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know y'all been wanting me to get on the field for a while, and uh, we'll be doing more of this. Peace!